my week, my week has been like uh, one day at a time. You one know, day at a time. Like I can't even remember what I did Monday. That's how my week been. Wow. So, like, I forgot it was Friday today. Do you remember what you did Tuesday? Uh, actually, I just came off a three-day flight fast. Mm. So I, I checked into a room in um, Newark, and um, I fasted for like three days without no food. Just to like, you know, get my mind together. But that's yes. what I, I'm just now coming off the fast right now. Right. So Liquid fast? Water. Or water? Yeah, water. I, I mean, I went, last September, I did 40 days water fast, but I, I included tea and I did, you know, shots of ginger. I like, I got a juicer at my home and I just like juice. But other than that, yeah, it's been like a, a good journey to be able to, you know, learn to fast. Yeah, definitely. Especially yeah. this time of my life. I did, a, I did a five day at the beginning of the year. Five days, but I didn't, you know, I was drinking like uh, fruit, stuff like that, like, you know, blending everything down. And I lost 15 pounds and I felt great. I had an issue with my shoulder that was gone. There's a couple other things that I was doing. I felt wonderful. So, you know, check into that fasting thing. I'm sure, Shaw, you could give us a lot more information. I was just about to ask, do you fast with intentions? Like when you go on these fasts, right? I think the most important thing for me when I do my fast is I write out a whole, I create a list of intentions. Why am I fasting? Here's what my expectations when I get out of this fast. Here's what I want changed in my life. Here's what's wonderful in my life that I would like to remain. So I kind of go into the fast with an expectation of when this fast is over, here's where I want to be when this is all done. Right. Do you do that? Yeah, I think I, um, you know, a man with great faith, and yeah. um, you know, I'm, I'm always proving my faith is real by, you know, going drastic, doing stuff like it's like, you know, people that I have to go, I have to be big at whatever I do, so I can't, I'm not going to just fast for that. You know, yeah. I, I always try to get close to God, be close to God, but other yeah. than that, it's like I, I'm always taking the opportunity to learn something new about myself. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. That's, that, that, yeah, fasting is a good... Health is a big thing, Thanks. man. Because I feel like... When I look around the room, I know that it's weird that a lot of people in here are at the age now where we have friends that's passing away yes. from health issues. People checking in the hospitals and not coming home and you're not seeing... Good God. <laughs> Bless you. Not you too, Space! <laughs> Not you too, man. <laughs> yeah, but you know, on a on a serious note, it's very important that you know we take yo. You are, you okay? You okay? You alright? You know, you gotta watch people not know. I'm playing, but seriously, like it's, we're, we're at that point. Mm -hmm. So I can't even imagine, like you know, I, I understand like you know eating healthy and you know working out and all that, but I can't imagine the type of discipline where I haven't achieved that yet, that went into, you know, your boxing career. You starting off from Grand Rapids, moving out here yep. to New York City, yep. going pro. And just just tell us about that journey. Well, you know, when I moved to New York, man, I, I had such a large story that I had to go back to moments and tell you, like, this is what I was doing at this time. I lived in the Bronx. You know, my trainer kicked me out of his home. I didn't have nowhere to go. I was on a train, on a, on a, on a four train, going down to the Lower East Side, I wasn't sure where I was gonna live. I'm like, I'm not from here, I don't got no family here, where I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, man, I, I'm, I'm thankful that I felt like God was had his hand over me. Even though I've been in the roughest moments, I never really could ask nobody for nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, I wasn't allowed to do that for myself, but like, I remember eating one slice of pizza a day, you know what I mean? All day. So when you say fasting, like fasting is just minor to what I already been through. I, I had to put myself through stuff, but like life itself put me through a lot. You know what right. I'm saying? I've been through a lot. So for me, it's like that's what makes the champion. You know, it's like his story, what what it took to get there. And you know, um, getting to that point, you know, I was like starving. My ribs is touching, and you know, I got to the point where uh, I got to be a world champion. And the bearer, when I, I, were, I was living in Brooklyn before they built the Barclays, and I'm like, oh, they putting this. Fort Greene. Yes. Fort Greene yeah, Fort Green, Yes, Fort Greene, man. 
I got a lot of love for Fort Green, man. It's like um, for me to be able to walk in the projects and not have no problems with nobody. You know, I was like, those are my brothers over there. So, you know, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to have like a, you know, a, a hood like that behind me. And I'm thankful that, you know, God had me on that journey while I'm able to touch and inspire and influence people. Right. But what, 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 what's the training like? Like, what did you have to do a day to be in, like, what was the, the championship edition training like? First way I started the mirror, I started in the mirror and I always went to the mirror and I looked at myself and I said, who gonna value you more than you gonna value yourself? Every morning, this is something you said. Every time I stepped in the step before I started to work out and um, I never would answer the question because I felt like I was never be able to be valued by anybody because I always valued myself off of hard work and hard work always pays off. Right. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm, I guess, that was the exercise for me to be able to be the champion that I am is being looking yourself in the face and being okay with the person you see. I found out in my life not not a lot of people are okay with the person they see in the mirror. Right. So you know, um, me doing that as an exercise, you know, people like a therapist are like, "Yo, man, that's good that you did that." You know. What <laughs> yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. She had me doing stuff. Like that. I, yeah, yeah. Because we are we are our biggest enemy, believe yes, it right. or not. Well, yeah. that's the person. You had, that's, that's it. In in boxing. That's the person you actually fight. That's oh my gosh. So yeah. that's and battle person. rap is kind of the same, same way. Thing. Yes, I, I, wow. and I would assume in music, it's wow. kind of the same thing because it's the work that you put in, it's yes. what you get out of yes. it. Yes. And life. so who's gonna value you more than you gonna value yourself? All right. So she, yeah, I just she had me every day looking in the mirror. The problem saying, is, I love you. Pause. <laughs> I do. I train I kids you. in my neighborhood, yeah. and I find out asking that question right, hearing somebody else give the other person that they gonna. This is who valued me more than I, right. Uh, and I, hearing them answer that question for and not saying myself, it's kind of crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's what made me the champion that I am today. I right. walk around with champion in spirit everywhere. No bodyguard. My whole career never had a bodyguard. Stayed in the cut like peroxide every right. time. You know what I'm saying? And been blessed to be able to be on this wonderful journey to meet interesting people. You know what I'm saying? I got to see a lot of evil. But I also got to be a part of a lot of evil. I also influence a lot of my friends into evil. But like, mm -hmm. I'm thankful that I'm able to, you know, inspire people that come from where I come from, which right. is nothing. All right. So you you're gonna keep the like the secret to yourself? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying that. You I'm know, trying to figure out what what the, was the your... secret. The secret yeah. is like going to the mirror and just knowing who you are. You know what I mean? Whatever you do, a lot of people, you know, um, got to go to the mirror and face the person they see, and that's the that's the first part of everything you do in life. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a rapper, whether you're a boxer, and me learning how to do that, like I said, is what, that's the secret to becoming a champion for me because not a lot of people are, and some people look at themselves and they lie, they, lie to themselves. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, like, you're going to answer that question, mm -hmm. but it can't be a lie either right. because you would get yourself believing in your own lie, and that's not cool either. So I guess that's the secret. You know what I mean? Hard work is always going to pay off, but believing in yourself is the start of everything you do. I'm hearing self-awareness. He's saying the secret is becoming self-aware, knowing who you are, right. being absolutely honest with yourself because oftentimes that we are not, you know? The, the, the truth is if you could look in the mirror and, and tackle those emotions that you're feeling or whatever you did, you might have done something to someone that you yourself know wasn't right. right. But actually facing that, saying, who, who are you? Why did you do that? That wasn't nice. That was wrong. So actually figuring out who you are first, he's absolutely right, is the secret to life. I have a new thing that I just came up with. You're going to hear it here first. Okay. I'm going to ask you a oh, question. Exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. Let's <laughs> get it. I'm going to ask you a question that anyone could answer this. Mm -hmm. Who is the real MVP in your life? i say my mama. What would you say? i say Jesus Christ. Come back to me. I don't know. You don't know? Who would All you right. say? Absolutely Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, Jesus, yeah. Can we go around the room with this one? I'm curious. Oh, sure, okay. I say Jesus. I'm curious. Yeah, I say Jesus. Jen, you better. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's waiting to hop her hat. She's wearing a hop her hat. Right. I have to say God. The brain surgery is next to God. Right. He's still going around the room? I'm my mother. My mother, I mean. My dad. Myself. He said myself. Oh, man. The inner self. The inner self. Which is coupled with God. You have to be in tune with God 
But to, when you, the inner self is different from the new self. The new self, the old self have to die first before you become aware in God. Yeah, because. but it's still inner. It's yeah. still new old. It's still inner you. So the real MVP, this is what he's talking about with self-awareness, with um, looking at yourself in the mirror, with talking to yourself, giving yourself life, speaking life into everything. You are where you are right now because you believed where you were going and you saw yourself. You found yourself. You right. went deep within and said, who's Matt Hoffa? Right. That's why you're sitting in that seat right now. Right. So when I talk about the real MVP in your life, is first and foremost, everybody, you have to figure out who you are first before you could get to whatever destination you're trying to get to because you are the guiding light mm -hmm. to where you're going. And you believe in God. A, a lot of other people believe in other things, but I believe in God. So for me, when I pray... I'm praying for that God in light, that inner self, that spirit that's going to walk me to the next chapter, to the next level, to the next step, to the next stage. If I have to go from here to here, if I don't know who I am, I can't get over here. You're just not going to, you're going to get here and you're going to go right back to the starting point because there's some things you got to figure out within first. So the real MVP mm -hmm. is, is your inner self and getting to know who you are and tackling that demon whether it's good or bad, tackling that first. That, that, I just want to chime in on yeah. that. Yeah. So, as me and you are on the same page, exactly. we already understand your body is the temple that the yes. Lord dwells in. Yes. Yes. So your inner self yes. is the Lord. It's your the Lord. inner self is Jesus. So that's for you too, brother, you yes. know, to hear. That is your inner self. Yes. Right. Well, you know why I'm here, though? Why? Because I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So that's the, Appreciate that's the, that's that, the part, man. Y'all you know? so. can clap. Y'all 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 I'm going to tell y'all, when I became the world champion, that's when I lost. Because I knew I was going to get to that point, and I heard people tell me that I wasn't ever going to be nothing. Right. Tell me they knew it was going to happen for me. You know, some of, some of those... Some of those some that's of those, real, right? Some of those people was the closest people. So that when I won a belt, I actually lost it in that same night because I, I seen that. So. That was the start of a lot of a lot of storms for me at that very moment because like yo, I've been homeless, I've been poor, I've been through a lot of stuff in my life, you know what I'm saying? And for that moment to happen, it was robbed for me from people that said they they believe me. And I know and the worst thing to do in life is like when you know something gonna happen, you come back and say, I, I told you it was gonna happen. That's the worst thing you can do. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You don't ever wanna tell nobody, yeah, I, I told you this was gonna happen. It's kinda oh, like damn. you're doing that like maliciously. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you believe in yourself. Nobody else got to do that. Some people become invited. I, the worst thing I had to do, I was put in a lot of uh, situation where, like, you know, people always trying to put you in a place where you you going to compromise your integrity. It's hot for trap, trap, and turn smack rapper. Smack. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Uh -huh. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard Got your baby mama thirst, you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the wave you need to surf, you heard Told Jim I need a bomb, I could drop on you niggas Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest I solidify my spot with gorillas Now 